Hey guys, so let's talk about Chun-Li's face in Marvel's Capcom Infinite because it seems to be the only thing you guys want to talk about lately. Jeez man, what the hell happened to this game last month? It just memes for days on social media right now. So in case you guys haven't noticed, there's been a lot of criticism uh, on this game, specifically with the characters, models, and their faces. So um, Capcom has finally acknowledged this in their interview with GameSpot, uh, which is a really good interview by the way, make sure you check out the link in the video description, it's worth a read. Uh, and they actually made a comment directly to Capcom about Chun-Li's face. So in the interview, GameSpot said, uh, One of the other things I'd like to speak to is some of the designs of the characters. What kind of stage and what kind of level of finality are they at? The obvious one is Chun-Li, who looks really weird. Her face looks, I was like, maybe she's a scroll or something. The other one is Captain America, who is being compared to the Rob Liefeld drawing, where he looks weirdly proportioned. The other thing I noticed was visuals don't pop in the way that Marvel vs. Capcom 3 did. Even today, you see that it looks like it gleams, it shines, it looks so vibrant. Is there room for you to kind of revise the stuff and really look forward? Holy shit, man, what an awkward question. Like, he's basically saying that, like, MEC 3 looks better. This is like a PR nightmare question, by the way. So the producer of MVCI, Michael Evans, had this giant ass response to this question, okay? Carefully avoiding talking about Chun-Li's face, by the way. Uh, I don't blame him, so I'm not gonna read this whole response because it's a huge response he does, but I'll give you guys a sample. So he says, um, It's interesting to see the feedback on that kind of stuff. Not to say that fans are wrong or nitpicking stuff like that. Uh, the feedback is coming and we're hearing that feedback and we're taking it in stride and figuring out how we can improve on things. That said, the game comes out in three months, so there's going to be some things that we can do in that time remaining and things that we can't do. When it comes to the overall look of the game, I feel like when people get it in their hands and see it in motion, they really get what we're trying to do with the cinematic look. He's referring to why it looks so different from Marvel's Capcom 3. Uh, basically, Capcom doesn't want it to look like Marvel vs. Capcom 3, right? That's where they're going for that cinematic look, plus the movies and such. Um, and also, he's basically saying not to judge, uh, judge the game until you get your actual hands on it and see it for yourself. So, keep in mind, guys, that I just got back from E3 and I was really sick from the trip. I couldn't play that story demo when I was in LA, and I, I didn't get a chance to play the story mode demo for NBCI until very recently, like two days ago. And I'm telling you guys now, the version that I played at E3, uh, it looked a lot better than the, than the story mode demo. I swear, guys, don't call me a shill, please. I swear it looked better. You guys had to have played it to know the difference. Michael Evans also mentioned that most of the trailers and the demo of the game uh, features the characters fight on the X-Guard stage. That's the default first stage that we've seen, and uh, which is really, really dark, he says. And, and as a result, the characters just don't pop out as much as they do on the brighter stages. Um, he says the character models look a lot better on stages, such as the, the new Black Panther stage that we've seen in the latest uh, trailer, you know, that desert-looking stage. And, uh, you know, I can see what he's saying. Uh, but I think people, are, most people are just worried about, you know, that there won't be any additional touch-ups. Especially on the faces, uh, the portraits, and the UI of the game, right? Uh, we're coming so close for the game to be launching, and right now a lot of people think that the UI is just like a placeholder at this point, right? So a lot of people want to see, you know, basically just want to see like some passion that's being put into these characters. Like these, these are huge IP, like characters from huge franchises, right? And uh, like, like he said, the game is, is three months away. So the game launches on September 19th. Uh, so the game is going to go gold in like August, right? Which is like two months away. So unless this game has a huge giant like day one patch, um, there's just a very short amount of time for them to just, you know, address this and put this in between their schedule. Obviously, they're hammering down the game to make sure it's ready for September. So for them to like, you know, have a roadblock and be like, yo, okay, now we got to touch up. Uh, people don't like these faces, these pictures and stuff. Uh, I don't know, man. Like, a day one patch seems to be the only likely thing to happen. Anyway, so after this really large response to the question, uh, GameSpot didn't budge. They didn't care. They just straight up said, you know, okay, uh, so just to return to Chun-Li's face, <laughs> are you guys going to look at that again, uh, given the widespread negative response? So, you know, GameSpot stuck to their guns. And Michael Evans said, yes, uh, when... Uh, well, when you put it that way, uh, I say I never wanted to look at it again. It's, it's super, no, okay, it's, it is disgusting. 
Um, but he said that as a joke, guys. Keep that in mind. He wasn't like that wasn't a serious response. Uh, and he said, of course we'll look at it again. Uh, we're gonna look at it. Can't promise anything right now, but we want to make our fans happy, man. Uh, we're not an evil overlord company, despite the rumors. Uh, we do want to make our fans happy. Can't promise anything. We'll look into it. I believe Ono already said something about that. So there you go guys, um, I'm pretty sure Capcom will at the very least fix Chun-Li's face uh, just because it's just such easy ammunition uh, for criticism right now, it's, it's such an easy target man for Marvel and you know presentation is such a big deal uh, when you're dealing with a triple A you know priced game, it really is. Graphics and presentation do matter, um, the initial sales do matter uh, just like how we've seen with Street Fighter V, they have to get this right on launch. Um, we know, you know, the content in the game is acceptable as fighting games goals. Uh, we know we have the story mode, the arcade mode, the trials and such. But honestly, for casuals um, especially, I don't think Capcom uh, should have released that demo. Uh, especially after playing it myself. Um, just in contrast with what I play at E3, guys, um, I think it would have been better if they did, didn't have the demo at all and they just, like, show it off the trailers and let us see uh, the E3 uh, footage. And, uh, or instead of uh, that story mode demo, they gave us a, the newest build that they had and had it on Versus or something because that way it would have had people focus on the gameplay of the game, which is actually really good uh, besides, you know, looking at, you know, the story mode and just checking out the cutscenes and such. Speaking of which, the latest build of Marvel's Capcom Infinite is actually going to be playable at EVO 2017, which is coming up in like less than three weeks now. So we'll be able to see like the, the current footage in the game and kind of have an idea what it's going to be like. Because that by that time, man, we're getting so close to like the finished product of the game. And yeah, we'll see what the rest of the characters are and align it with that leak list and such. So yeah, there you have it. Uh, let me know what you guys feel about this game right now. Like, like what is your real thoughts on this game besides, you know, just checking out social media and just joining the whole, you know, hate train and stuff. Like, what do you guys really think? about Marvel's Capcom Infinite right now. Um, like, does presentation mean a lot to you guys? Do you guys just care about the gameplay? Like, are, are you guys just concerned that they will not be doing any more touch-ups on this? Let me know in the comments below, guys. I'm really curious. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like the video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, and I'll keep you guys posted on more fighting game news in the future. So, till then, guys, take care.